Father God, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the airways, the phone, and the listener. Lord, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins, those I'm aware of, those I'm unaware of, in Jesus' name. Lord, I forgive anybody living or dead who's ever dominated or controlled me, in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you for showing up all the time, Lord. I thank you for showing up right now. Lord, I thank you for being El Shaddai more than enough, coming with more than enough. Lord, I thank you for uh, fighting on my behalf from the third heaven, Lord. I thank you for fighting my battles before I was ever born. I thank you, Lord, for being uh, that God and knowing me before the foundation of the earth, Father God. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for it. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for using this earth as a training ground uh, to see the wiles of the devil and not be ignorant to the wiles of the devil. You say in your word, people perish for lack of knowledge. I thank you for the knowledge. I thank you for saving my life, saving me from perishing. Father God, I thank you, Father. I pray that you wake up the captives. I pray that you use me to set the captives free. In Jesus Christ, my name, any demon or devil, any witchcraft curse, anything that has your people captive, in Jesus' name, I break the power of it. Any type of curse that's meant to slow down a man or a woman of God from walking in their destiny, the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. You will get your hands off of the children of the Lord now in Jesus' name. Their destiny belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. Their destiny belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. I break the power of all agreements that the uh, pastor or future priest or future intercessor or man or woman of God, Father God, that may be bound up by drugs or alcohol, Lord Jesus, their ignorance that they had, Father God, not knowing what they were getting into, perhaps taking uh, prescription pills, Father God, just wanting to do what the doctor said, Father God, I break the power that that doctor has over their mind in Jesus' name. I break the power that those pills have over their body in Jesus' name. Father God, I ask you, Lord, to set in motion a chain of events that will set them free. Father God, set the captives free from the wiles of the devil. Father God, the, uh, the court case that was won by the plaintiffs, Lord, that came against Pfizer and other companies, for the use of opiates, Father God. These companies use opiates knowingly, knowing that they were gonna destroy people, Father God. I pray that all of that, uh, all of that misfortune that they that they uh, derived onto the person who took the medicine, I pray that it goes back on the company and the heads of the companies in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I pray that they suffer. I pray that they become addicted. I pray that all, everything that they progenerated on God's people gets done to them in Jesus' name. These devil worshiping high, up elitists in Jesus Christ by the name think that they can go around and slash and burn and cut and sever and destroy men and women of God and their destiny father God knowingly for Satan it's not gonna happen not today not yesterday it was a trap it was an ambush it was to get you to sin in a way that the that the Lord himself is gonna come down from heaven and make you be held accountable in Jesus' name. I hold you accountable in the spirit. Father God, I put every one of these people on trial in the spirit, Lord Jesus, and I ask you to persecute them with the tempest. Make them afraid with thy storm. Father God, let the whirlwind of the Lord rest upon the head of these people. Let them run. Father God, let them run. But Lord, they cannot hide. They cannot hide from you. They cannot hide from their destiny, from their judgment, Father God. You, Lord, are a jealous God, and these people have taken your children from you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to destroy them. They have given your people, your children, false idols, Father God. Anybody who's been idolizing a drink or a drug or anything like that in Jesus Christ's mighty name, I break the power of those uh, demonic entities in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Lord Jesus, it's unfair. It's not fair. These devils and these demons have used things, Father God, that take away the person's control and will. Father God, you intended us to have will. Father God, you intended us to have free will. Father God, I speak that free will back over your people. Father God, I pray that you restore their free will. I pray that you give them one more chance. One more chance, Lord, to serve you and choose you, Father God. One more chance to walk in your direction. One more chance to serve you, Father. One more chance to think of you and include you in their day. One more chance, Father God, and use this. Use what these devils have done. Use what these demons have done. Use what these workers of inequity have done, Father God, in the curses and the destruction and the defilement that they have progenerated upon your people use it lord use it lord and when these people these children of god lord when they're in despair because they are totally surrounded by demons father god your children your special little children they have gifts spiritual gifts father god they are intercessors lord they are deliverance ministers they are healers 
Lord, they are bound. They have been bound up with drugs and alcohol. Father God, pushed by these corporations and these companies, knowing what they're doing, worshiping Satan. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. All your protection spells have been destroyed now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord Jesus rebuke you, devil. The Lord Jesus rebuke you, demons. The Lord Jesus rebuke you, voodoo conjure workers. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you, CEOs of heads of giant corporations and companies that know statistically all the research that they have done, all the research that they have done, Father God, and they know that they're destroying people. They know that they're destroying lives, Father God. They hide it. They shovel it under a rug, Father God, but you cannot hide. What was dark will come to light in Jesus' name, and it is coming to light now, and you are being held accountable in the Spirit. In Jesus Christ, by the name, I call for a summary judgment upon the head of every person who's knowingly, after the statistics come out, knowingly push these things in Jesus' name, the destruction, the maiming, the stealing of virtue from God's people. I pray that it all gets taken from these people. I pray that it all gets taken from them in hopes that it brings them to repentance in Jesus' name. And if they don't repent, Father God, take them out. It's time for these people to go. They cannot be trusted in their position of power, Father God. They are the ones that had free will. They had free will and they went against you, Lord. They went against your people and they need to pay. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. He who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. Father God, I'm not throwing any stones. I'm not throwing any stones. I'm saying, Lord, like the Pharaoh, like the Pharaoh held your held your people captive, and you sent Moses to set them free. You sent Moses to come and tell the tell the Pharaoh, listen, you better stop, or the plagues are going to come and ravage you. They're going to destroy you, Father God. I'm not throwing a stone. I'm asking you to throw a stone. I'm asking you, God, to throw a stone. Destroy them. Take down their entire temple, their system, everything that they use, Father God. To hover over men and women of God and dominate them. Father God, I break the power of that dominance. I break the power of that will to dominate in these people in Jesus' name. I pray, Father God, that they have, that their will now, that they have the will to submit, to submit to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And if they don't, Father God, then I pray that you dominate them. They want that domination. Let them experience it. Let them have it in Jesus Christ by the name. Let them see what it's like to be dominated by a wrathful, vengeful God who will not stand for anybody messing with his children in Jesus' name. Again, Lord, it's unfair. It's been unfair. They've been tricked. They've been hooked. They've been hooked on a hook, Father God. That hook belongs to Leviathan. That hook is supposed to be in Leviathan's mouth. And they've taken that hook and they've hooked it into your people. Lord Jesus, I take it out of your people and I hook it back in Leviathan. That demon that wants to steal from you, Father God, and wants to steal your praises and wants to steal your ver all of our ambition to serve you and love you and chase after you, Father God. Leviathan and that python spirit want to eat it up. Father God, I break the power of those devils now in Jesus' name. And that hook, how they hooked us on drugs. They hooked us on drink. They hooked us on tobacco, on everything else, Father God. I hook it in these demons, and I pull them out of us in Jesus' name. I praise you, Lord. I thank you, Father God. I thank you that you've given me the wisdom to loose the spirit of restoration on your children now. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for breaking us. I thank you for breaking us through these things in Jesus' name and giving us another chance, Father God, letting us stand up and be stronger and be made anew and afresh in Jesus' name. And Father God, there are people out there that feel like they have no hope right now. They have no hope. They have no hope. They're in despair. They don't know how or why or what's going to happen. They feel like their life is over. Father God, I speak a new life over them. A brand new life, Lord. You gave me a new life, and I pray that you give them a new life. You're not a respecter of persons, Father God. You are king, king of the universe. And you told me that we are priests and kings, Father God. I speak that all your priests and kings are salvaged. Father God, I pray that you send angels to go out there into the field and start pulling these uh, salvaged people out now in Jesus' name. You are the Savior, Father God. You offer salvation. Father God, your people perish for lack of knowledge. I pray for, Lord, that you bring a spirit of wisdom. Loose the spirit of wisdom through these attacks, through this despair, through this destruction that's maimed their life, Father God. I pray, Lord, that through all that stuff, you give them wisdom. I pray that it is turned into fertile ground. And these people raise up and they rise up, not ignorant of the wiles of the devil. And they destroy the works of Satan. They know his tricks. They know his tactics. And they realize they have the power to tear it all down in Jesus Christ by the name. They are specially equipped to pull other people out of the fire. In Jesus Christ by the name, I praise you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. In Jesus Christ by the name, I thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I bind all backlash in Jesus' name. Amen.